Hello my dearest chess friends, this is International Master Camilla Tobanu and in this video we will learn how to find a stalemate. I think this is so important because many times it can occur that uh, we enter maybe an end game that is uh, not advantageous and so um, we would like to at least have a draw so it's worth mentioning uh, that seeking for a stalemate can actually save the game okay so uh, we will have a look on this position um, that is from the game played by karsten kraling as white against wolf kuhn in the f2002 okay so they reached this end game in which white is to move so let's try to understand the position a little bit um, it appears that white does not have any useful move. Can you see that the king is in Zutzwang? It can go nowhere. All the pawns are blocked. And uh, the only piece that can be moved actually is the knight on c3. But for now this knight is playing a defensive role because it is actually protecting the weak pawn on a4 that is being attacked by black's bishop so for example if uh, the knight will move from c3 like knight e2 maybe then white will lose the pawn on a4 and black will have a passed pawn on the a file in addition to that black is also threatening to take the pawn on g6 that has no protection okay so what is white going to do you will be surprised that white did find a resource to save the game and how did he do that well first of all remember the king is in Suzwang. it can go nowhere all the pawns are blocked so if somehow white can get rid of the knight and then uh, if white will be to move and will not be able to move that is a stalemate technically okay so what white did here is he tried to create a passed pawn by sacrificing the knight okay so it was his last chance to try and find a counterplay so what what white did was take on d5 okay white sacrifices the knight now black took with a c pawn because in this way even if white has the c pawn as a passed pawn and trying to promote the bishop will be able to take go to d7 and stop the promotion or when it will promote the pawn mm. can be taken and so first of all before showing you how they played i would like only to have a look on e takes d5 what could have happened if black did that well mm. simply white will bring the king to f5 to defend the pawn on g6 and keep the uh, kings in opposition so that the king can't go to g6 and further on to the promotion square and now black will not be able to stop the e pawn from marching on for example let's see if he will try to sacrifice the bishop in order to have the h pawn as a passed pawn white is the one going there first okay so white will promote first and not only only the checkmate is coming soon good but black did not take with the e pawn but instead he took with the c pawn so now <laughs> white can only move the pawn from c5 bishop takes on a4 pawn to c7 it looks like nothing will happen because black finally takes the pawn and then he will promote but actually white promotes to queen so black will be forced to take the queen and what is white supposed to move <laughs> the king is not in check but is in Suzwang and all the pawns are blocked so black uh, white has no possible move therefore this is a stalemate and the game ends with a draw so instead of losing white just gained half a point which can be so important in a tournament so let's see it from the beginning in this critical moment of the end game white found a magnificent solution to the dilemma of what's what is he going to move and he sacrifices the knight on d5 black will take with a c pawn we saw that e takes does not work because of king f5 and then simply push the e pawn now white goes to promote black will try to stop it 
And finally, after bishop takes c8, move number 40, there is a stalemate and so a draw. Well, my dear friends, I hope that you liked this endgame and remember to always try to find a stalemate when finding yourself in a disadvantageous position because half of point is much better than no point. Have a wonderful time and I'll talk to you next time.